As the wind changed direction in our stunning little anchorage, it brought with it the telltale swell, which for our friends and their cat is not so much of an issue. For our monohull, however, we really start to rock and roll when we're side onto it. So we switched it up from a free swinging to stern two setup for our second night so that we were bow into swell, making for a much better night's sleep since we were far too in love with this spot to leave. We may, however, have overstayed our welcome since the next day brought us this. Goodbye to our beautiful bay. Doesn't look, doesn't look so beautiful right now. <laughs> But now it was absolutely idyllic yesterday, crystal clear water, and now the weather is rolling in. Oh, very moody, man. very moody, and real lumpy out here. Not that you can tell on the camera. We just had a bit of a lengthy escape from there as well because we were tied to rocks and it was really, really swelly in there, so we kind of just had to leave our lines, go and safely anchor out of the way of a boat that was in front of us, right beside of our anchor. So we had to pull up, leave our lines, anchor again. Dino had to go pick up the lines in the dinghy, lift anchor again, and we're underway. It was all right. Yeah. It's definitely the best way to do it. Yeah. It, longer, but it, was, it was, yeah. yeah. The I'm only good. safe way to do it, considering the boat, if there hadn't been another boat in our way, we Maybe. could have yeah, yeah, could have got the lines straight away, but it wasn't worth it. We would have swung right into them, and I would have been hectically trying to drive away while still on the hook. <laughs> Anywho, happy days. Unfortunately, the wind's right where we're going. Heading into it? Yeah. No sails just yet? Not just yet. Just motoring into the swell, baby. Water sports everywhere. Boats everywhere. And then the party boats. It's all happening. Provisioning. <laughs> Priorities. I'm home alone on Tewaka for a bit. Dino's gone into Marmaris town to visit um, an agent we're checking in with about extending our residency or visa here in Turkey so that we can stay here um, for a bit longer over the winter. And it looks like there's a bit of a storm brewing out here. <laughs>
still pretty though. <laughs> we are here, just out of my Morris. We're gonna fly the drone over good stuff. <laughs> for a sale but there's stuff going on Holy shit. there's like a full military chopper you can't really see out over those boats there is a regatta on so we're not sure if that's what it's about but it's getting awfully close to them maybe there's a man overboard are they rescuing someone We're too far away for it to show up on the GoPro, but he's like swooping in amongst these boats sailing. So so over like, the water's out there. Yeah, like hovering over them and water's like, whoa, it's like full diving. <laughs> Maybe they're just practicing. I think they are. So we are in an area near like a military base, so he is there. He's like could be yeah, he's like literally skimming the water right now. So they could just be rehearsing, practicing, training. Not, not too sure. In any case, Tear Walker's having a good time, hey Captain? Yeah. Look at it go. Good. So there's this beautiful bay that we've just come out of that I've kind of swept around already. Came out of there. Anchorage last night, we've been crisscrossing. Good stuff for over there. We're racing and currently winning. We did get a bit of a head start, but then they changed course and we changed plan and anchorage. So then they got a head start and now we're beating them again. It's so we can totally, <laughs> totally claim this one. But yeah, to be fair, we sail a bit better upwind than the cat does. If we were going downwind, it'd be a whole nother story. So they've got. A, well, they're code zero though when oh, it's yeah, like light, light winds. Light winds yeah. We got nothing. Anyway, have a look see out here. Just magic. We're gonna hopefully try and anchor in here with good stuff and then check out this mad cave beside it. Oh, so cool. Are they? Yeehaw! There's a boat currently in the corner of this cove that we're hoping is leaving and then we'll have it to ourselves. Hey, Gino. Hey, neighbors. <laughs> Hello, big blue.
decided I'd do a mag cockpit floor diary because I haven't done one in ages. <laughs> Not scary sea state at the moment, but I had a really scary night last night. All we did, we had a pretty like amazing anchorage that we tried to go into with good stuff, which was literally like these two little finger coves between just sheer cliffs either side and it was lovely but it was like really deep to anchor in but then rocks either side and got shallow quite quickly on the beach behind us and apparently we didn't see it but um one of the guys on good stuff went diving where our boat would have been last night and there was a big rock behind us that had we dragged anchor would have been pretty close to the rudder potentially um but we called it last night because i just i honestly felt like the walls were coming in on me <laughs> had a bit of a bit of a mini spaz attack because i just felt terrified mainly because the swell started rolling in as well and so we were just like bumping the chain obviously an anchor lifting up and down which always scares me a bit when we haven't had an opportunity to like pull on it and know that it's really set which we couldn't do because we just had to get lines tied quite quickly behind us the stern lines to the rocks which were also really tricky thanks so much to Libby and Natalia from Good Stuff they helped us with their dinghy and poor Libby got had to deal with sharp rocks <laughs> trying to find somewhere to put the damn lines to but in any case we got set up but then I just felt I felt so uncomfortable in there it was a bit of a mess so we needed to call it because it was right on sunset I needed to get rid of stern lines and lift anchor before it got dark in there because it would have been real gnarly trying to get out probably and the swell was just getting worse too so we were just like beating into the swell as I was trying to lift the anchor anyway and then had a pretty uncomfortable ride back to um, the beach anchorage that we had been to the night before but at least we knew we were going to end up somewhere we could trust that was safe sandy free swinging anchorage no gnarly rocks to have to tie to <laughs> and it was definitely one of those nights where i was wishing i was in a cozy bed <laughs> back home maybe <laughs> It's not all smooth sailing and picturesque anchorages, although most of the time the anchorages are just that. Even when they're gnarly, they're picturesque and idyllic. And it would have been so lovely to have woken up there this morning because it was just stunning, but I, I wouldn't have slept. <laughs> In any case, we're leaving. It can check behind us. And we're heading finally into the Gulf of Fetia, where we've heard so many good things about from so many different um, sailors, yacht forums. Sounds like a good place for winter here in Turkey too, because it's quite well protected and there's heaps of little nooks and crannies to anchor in. And yeah, decided to check it out for a couple of weeks.
knives. Ready? Yep. Oh, stop, stop. sails out for most of today we're just cruising along we haven't gone faster than about five knots yeah i reckon currently going four there we are on the map apparently getting a bit shallow <laughs> got the wind at 120 off our starboard side, I don't know. It's hard to see these screens. It's from behind, really. And yeah, just cruising downwind. Happy days. Until Coast Guard comes past. We just had a massive Coast Guard boat come within about oh, 100 meters of us. And luckily we could turn, or Dino could turn into wind to kind of surf up the waves I guess so bad. that we they were massive so that we weren't side on and just getting like healed over um yeah far out they throw the boat around especially because they they just all boats here seem to come so close like they I don't know what it is it's like comfort to just just pass you and they anchor right beside you too, which can be a bit annoying also, at the best of times. But never mind. Any words, Captain? Uh, just lost a bit of wind, unfortunately. Oh, sad faces. Still moving though. Oh, yeah. Three four knots. <laughs> but she is flapping a bit, Jenny. Somewhere behind us over there is good stuff. 
We're not winning today though, we had a head start. 